UTMB Health, working together to work wonders. There's been a lot of advance in the understanding of chikungunya virus genetics done here on our campus. Uh, since 2005, uh, it's been estimated that about one in 1,000 uh, infections does result in uh, fatal disease. Uh, a typical infection would involve very severe arthritic symptoms, joints, uh, severely afflicted by pain to the point where people can't work or function normally, typically for weeks, but sometimes even for months and years. It, it continues to be a major threat uh, around the world to public health. Although chikungunya seems like a faraway disease to some of us here in the United States, it's a real threat to us here in the U.S. as well as to many millions of people in Asia and Africa. It's a virus that has the ability to travel on airplanes and infected people very readily. And every time one of those people uh, landed in an area of the U.S. where we have the vector mosquitoes that transmit chikungunya virus, there was a real threat that the virus could become established here and then spread throughout uh, the Americas. Anywhere where we have dengue could easily become epidemic and endemic for chikungunya. Well, unfortunately, I think that if we don't develop a method to control the spread of chikungunya and the level of transmission in Asia and Africa, eventually it will come here and become endemic. So one of the, the main reasons that we think a vaccine could have a huge impact on public health worldwide is that if we can develop an effective vaccine and deploy it in India and Southeast Asia to the point where we reduce the level of transmission and circulation and reduce the risk of these infected people boarding airplanes when they're still incubating the virus and don't even know they're infected yet, that we can reduce that risk for it coming to the Americas uh, by orders of magnitude. Well, unfortunately, there's uh, really nothing new for protecting oneself from mosquito-borne diseases. But this is a, a big challenge, especially for chikungunya virus, because the two vectors, the two mosquitoes that transmit the virus, almost exclusively feed on humans. Vaccines are still the best way we have to control uh, infectious diseases. We think that based on what we've seen in mice, we're fairly confident that this vaccine will work well in people. And that's the reason that the National, Institute of, National Institutes of Health have considered uh, continuing the support for another four years for our program.